Welcome to Markets on Air. Mass production in Mexico, precision seals from Bavaria. Shift workers assembling seals and gaskets, mostly for automotive suppliers. They're essential components for filters and powertrains. A new plant in Mexico will soon resemble the Wallstaber and Schneider headquarters here in Bavaria. A lot of our customers are going to North America. The U.S. is experiencing a robust recovery. And Mexico is a good location with lower production costs. That's why companies are using Mexico as a springboard for access to markets in North and South America. Foreign direct investment in Mexico grew to 25.6 billion euros last year, more than ever before. Three quarters of it went into industry, while other investments went into mining and trade. Wallstaber and Schneider found a suitable production site at the Irapuatu Industrial Park. The company has invested 7 million euros in the plant and it had to act quickly. We learned the hard way in Mexico. It really is the place to be right now. Despite the attractive new location, management says the company headquarters will definitely remain in Bavaria. E-Golf. Bestseller goes electric. Volkswagen presented its new star in style. The new e-Golf is the first electric version of VW's best-selling model. We're definitely aiming for younger customers, for families who want to have affordable electromobility now and in the future. Grabbing a hold of the commercial market is one thing, winning mass market acceptance is another. Uwe Schaefer knows all about the obstacles companies like VW face, like the high price of lithium for batteries. It'll happen quickly with a large market. If a lot of electric cars are sold quickly, production will grow along with it. Another problem is vehicle range. The e-Golf can manage up to 200 kilometers on a full battery, then it has to recharge and that can take several hours. But VW expects progress on recharging soon. It's a question of developing and evolving the technology and we're right on track. But the biggest hurdle of all is the price. At 35,000 euros, the e-Golf costs twice as much as the standard gas-powered model. Lowering costs is the car maker's biggest challenge. Two million nine hundred and fifty thousand. That's the number of new passenger cars registered in Germany last year. It's slightly less than the three million vehicle target set by the car makers. But the industry is again optimistic for 2014, mostly because of growing demand on foreign markets, especially in the United States. Recovery picking up speed in Germany. Consumers have been spending more for months. Now exporters are once again driving the German economy forward. Exports to Eurozone countries have increased since the beginning of the year, a sign that Europe is recovering, according to Germany's leading foreign trade organization. Data security in focus at CBIT. The motto at this year's computer trade fair in Hanover was datability, the ability to use large volumes of data sustainably and responsibly. Keeping data secure was also on the minds of the fair's 500 exhibitors. Record year for renewable energy. Germany is generating more and more power from renewable energy sources. The proportion of electricity produced by solar power, wind power and bioenergy grew to 25.4% in 2013. It was the first time ever that fully one quarter of Germany's energy needs came from alternative sources. Export success. German milk in China. The cows at the Ten Hough dairy farm are milked twice a day. After years of low milk prices, the business has become profitable again. In recent years, milk prices have risen because of exports to Asia and China, so prices have improved. 
German dairy farmers export 40,000 tonnes of milk to China every year, most of it provided by large-scale dairies. Milk from Europe has a good reputation in China. Along with the farmers and milk producers, German engineering company Geyer is also benefiting from China's growing thirst for milk. Gaia makes machinery for filling milk cartons. Order books are full, and the impending changes to China's population policies promise higher sales in the future. With the move away from the one-child policy, demand will certainly strengthen. We know ourselves how important milk is for our children's nourishment, so it won't be any different there. That means even more milk and more machinery will be needed in China. That was Markets on Air.